Hey you all, so I'm just now get off of work. I was supposed to get off at seven o'clock. I would be okay with getting off at like seven fifteen. This is what time it is now. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It is eight forty or twenty forty. So it was a crazy freaking shift. Like it was so hectic. I was on a rehab floor or a skilled nursing floor, y'all. It was so hectic and i had a cmt like oh my gosh and the the night shift nurse did my uh accu checks for me so i'm like okay i can do this yeah as soon as the nurse left as soon as the night shift nurse left boom somebody on the floor okay you know all right i'm, I'm gonna get through this so somebody on the floor doing the vitals doing the assessment all that okay that's the first thing i walk i walk in on okay you know it is what it is <laughs> then i had to do four ivs on my shift uh i had to do one two three four five i think it's just five six seven i guess you can count that as seven i had to do seven treatments like open areas or like a lot of cream a lot of all this extra stuff on people skin assessments all of that then i i somewhat got into it with the person over the phone like the person um that does admissions because i'm working doing my thing then i get a call like oh we're calling in report i'm like what do you mean you calling in report because i'm like okay they're like oh such and such is coming back da, 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 da. i'm like nobody i didn't tell us on the phone I'm like nobody told me i'm thinking in my head like no one told me that this admission was coming this is how they do it they don't tell you an admission is coming right then you get report from the hospital like hey i just want to give you a report about your patient coming there and the hospital's looking at you like you don't know that this person come I'm like no this no i don't know so i finally got the phone with him i do report and then i call over to the admissions person because at this point i'm like what's going on so i called the admission person i'm like what's going on you know why didn't you call me and give me a heads up basically that's why i said i was like you know why didn't you come and give me a heads up she was like well because i'm not done with the paperwork i'm like but you knew this person was coming so you could have told me that this person was coming before they call and give me a report and say they're gonna be here in an hour you could have been called me. See, this is why I do agency, and this is why I'm probably not gonna pick up here for a while. And then I heard they're gonna be changing agencies. They're gonna be going to another agency that don't pay nothing for real. So I'm probably not gonna be a, a regular agency nurse up here any longer, not too much longer. Uh, because I don't, you know, once you start, what the heck is that sound? that's my car okay so once you start going to a place like relatively often i just feel like you start to see all the cracks in the foundation especially when you work day shift because you start to just i don't know it just becomes so overwhelming and you be complaining about stuff and this is not my job like i don't want to be up here complaining about what y'all doing and what y'all not doing like i don't care that much to complain about it and to be going to this and that third person and I just don't want to feel like I'm complaining about your job. Like, I don't care to do that, right? That's why I do agency so I can come in, do what I can do, take care of the folks, chart on it, and go home. Like, I don't want to be looking at all the cracks in your foundation and being like, ooh, they keep doing this. Or, ooh, they always doing it. Like, I don't want to have to do that. Like, I don't want that. I'm not your employee, right? So, which, but yeah, I, I don't know. They got a good sign on bonus. I ain't even going to lie. They sign on bonus looking nice it's looking real nice i mean i'm sure you gotta sign a contract but that sign i'm on is looking good but i'm not going for it because that's not the direct that's going backwards if i go if i go that route it's gonna go backwards so any home <clears throat> should i stop at kidoba i know y'all can't really see me for real so any home I told her that she's like, cause I didn't finish the paperwork. I'm like, okay. And it just got to the point where I, I felt myself about to go off on a person. And it's like, that's not that serious. Like it's not that serious. So I said, I said, okay, well, thank you. And I hung up. Um, Because even if you haven't finished your paperwork, if you know a patient is coming, go ahead and call the nurse. Like, hey, I'm still working on such and such paperwork, but there's gonna be an admission in this room. I just wanna let you know, I'm still doing the paperwork for it, but that's that even if you don't think that person's gonna come if you if there's a possibility that they're gonna come
go ahead and let the nurse know because that puts in my mindset okay that helps me to prioritize the way i do things like that i could tell my cna it's like it just changes the way that you work granted i probably still was gonna be a hot mess because it was so i didn't realize how much work i was doing and i was constantly being pulled from this direction to that direction like it was a lot it was it was a lot of freaking work i only had 17 patients but it was all skills so it's just you're doing a lot on these people doctors are there <clears throat> you're constantly like doing assessments and you, and if you're really doing what you should be doing like you're gonna be working like i was working i'm so glad they had a cmc because now they're talking about they're not gonna even have a cmc over there i'm like mm, y'all not gonna get nothing done because then i have to turn around and chart on 17 patients skill charting and when you do skill charting you need to do a head to toe on those patients you need to be making sure that everything is like done right so and that's something i'm really like okay let me just be on top of making sure everything is done right and then just other little stuff was happening with patients and just little stuff that i was like oh, i had to call the doctor about this about that so i'm not really complaining about the work it was just a lot and for this person to not even tell me about the admission i was like what the hell so i still had to finish that admission before i left and then on top of that y'all here it is like 650 the cmc from another floor coming down the hall like such and such is here they trying to get in through this door but they're not supposed to go in through that door i'm like who is that they're like this person the new admit i'm like i have my new admit no well, are you sure it's the right new admit because i talked to the other nurse on this floor and they said that they're admit not coming till tomorrow i'm like i have no idea who you're talking about i don't know this person i don't know what you're talking about i don't know this patient they're not coming over here <laughs> yeah i come to find out this person was here before and yeah the person just comes in i didn't get any report from the hospital no nothing didn't get nothing 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 so we going back and forth finally they decide okay this person does stay here i had to call the supervisor good thing i had the supervisor's number in my phone um call the supervisor i'm trying to because i'm like don't let them leave because we didn't get no report no nothing don't let that don't let them drop that patient off her and i was like are y'all cool with it and i said cool that's y'all problem and i hung up that phone and finished working because i wanted to get on leave on time because then my husband was trying to get me it's just y'all he was like trying to get off of work on time i'm like chris like this is not like i don't i'm not a checker over at freaking walmart like i i have to like i cannot leave until my work is done no matter if i'm an agency nurse or a skilled like a, a a regular nurse at a facility if i get uh deposed and they try to sue your girl they're not gonna say oh nurse b was an agency nurse that day oh she had to leave on time she's fine it doesn't matter that this or that and the third didn't get charted on or this and the third didn't happen didn't didn't no one did it it's okay she was an agency nurse no they don't care they see a prudent nurse that's supposed to do prudent nurse things things okay and all they care about is if i did it or not and if i charted on it or not and what was the outcome for my patient that's all that they care about they don't care that you're an agency nurse and i think sometimes like as an agency nurse you feel like you're kind of detached from it like you know whatever like i ain't got to come back to this facility but things that happen at that facility your license can it can still it still is attached to your license everything that you did is still attached to your license and i know it's hard to lose your license as a nurse you know it, you have to do a whole lot to lose that license but i mean you can still be putting yourself in a position you don't want to be in so i'll just become way more diligent about how i work as an agency nurse about how I, like just way more structured about the things that i do because there's no structure for me nobody is gonna come to me and be like brandy you didn't do this assessment i'm gonna need you to do that nobody's gonna do that because i don't work anywhere so i have to make sure that i am doing it and i'm on top of it so as the best as i can because sometimes i don't even be knowing half the time what they want us to do so i just be like i'm gonna put a note in here at least i'm gonna put in a report and somebody gonna know okay i'm gonna leave it at that so any home um uh, i'm just talking uh yeah that's what happened this person strolls in so they they came like right at seven o'clock and i'm supposed to leave at seven o'clock so i'm like i talked to the person like i said i talked to the uh 
one of the managers and she was like just do what you can do but at least just do something on the other admission because that's going to leave two admissions for the next nurse so i finished that admission i think all that patient has to do is sign some paperwork so i finished that admission man i need some water hold on y'all my nose i just finally took that mask off and i can just feel all of this oh anyhow i finished the first admission and then the one that just popped up that nothing nobody knew anything about nothing that was left for the night nurse um and i was like yeah she just came i talked to the supervisor she told me to just do this and the third do what i could do on the other one and that's what i'm gonna do if she got paperwork to sign you're gonna have to have her sign it because i'm about to go and i still had to finish my charting so i just did what i could y'all i just did what i could i at least did a full oh I, I did a full skin assessment i talked to the doctor i did all that stuff so the orders are in the computer all that jazz so i did what i could y'all and that just be a thing man and i was i was so close to picking up tomorrow evening shift i'm so glad i didn't like this 12 hours took a lot out of me and it was a lot of thinking like i had to think <laughs> it was a lot of physical work and it was a lot of thinking and it was a lot of being pulled in a lot of different directions Ugh, nursing it kind of made me think not that i don't want to do nursing but it's just like do i really want to do the grunt work of nursing i'm not saying that i want to become a nurse practitioner but sometimes i feel like ugh, sometimes it's just best to say here do this and i just keep it pushing like i need you to do this and the third okay bye like that's that but i don't want to be in that role of telling grown folks what to do you know not as a supervisor but as a provider you know as a provider you pretty much say you do your assessment you say this is what i need you to do go ahead and make it happen but i'm sure as a doctor or as a nurse practitioner you're already like that's gonna add like a whole crap load of work on top of you and responsibilities and yeah i'm not about that life but who knows y'all i remember i had a patient who told me she was like you're gonna be a geriatric physician i was like in whose world <laughs> in whose world am i gonna be a geriatric She's like you really should be you know and it's so crazy because i've had have y'all ever had people talk on y'all life like it's been a few things that happened to me and somebody like literally told me it was gonna happen it was so weird i don't know if i internalized it and like i made it happen but it was stuff that i really didn't even pay attention to until like i realized with my real eyes i guess I realized that it happened I was, and it just I just reflected that's why it's so good to reflect on your life I reflect I reflected back on my life and I was like oh my goodness this person told me that or this person said that and it's never really anybody that I'm super close to anybody that like has is still in my life it could be like a random person and then it'll just come into fruition I'd be like dang that's crazy it could be the smallest stuff. It could be the smallest stuff. And it just comes to fruition. And you'd be like, dang, I didn't even know. Like, how did they know? But anyways, I don't really know if I'd be, I would, I, yeah. But you never know where life takes you. That's how I see it. Like, I just kind of keep the doors open. But for now, let's go ahead and get this Ariana. I do know an Arian that's going to become a pediatric MD. He's going to become a pediatrician. Um, and I really wanted to do an interview with him, but then he moved to Cali. No, I think he's doing a re I don't know. Is he doing resident? No, I don't know what he's doing. And I really wanted to do an interview with him. Um, he's awesome. He's going to be a great physician. Um, yeah, but I really want to get back to doing interviews. But I'm kind of like, I don't know. I, I don't I do know, but I don't really want to talk about it. But uh, I love you all. I appreciate you all. Thank you so much for watching. I know this this video is kind of all over the place, like the way I'm talking, and I'm tired. It's 8:54. I'm already sleepy. Like I've been going to sleep like at like a 9:30 ish, <laughs> cause I'm like I just want to get my rest and just yeah. But I'm in a good space. I'm in a good head space. I'm in a good emotional space. 
my dreams have been weird pisces season Woo! pisces where the pisces at oh y'all make stuff so weird y'all make stuff so loopy and i can feel the pisces season like happening i can feel it i can feel the loopy energy happening for me but um yeah i feel good i feel really encouraged and i just want to continue to be a better nurse and sometimes it feels like how the hell can you do that when you have so much work to do and it's just like like today like somebody was like i can't find my clothes you know like i i send my clothes down there and i can't find them and like me being who i am like i was so ready to run down a laundry look for the person's clothes searching through laundry asking questions filling out this but y'all i had so much stuff to do and it's like if i don't do it that's gonna fall back on me it's not gonna fall back on me that i didn't look for your 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 clothes and that's horrible that's horrible it makes me feel so bad because it's just like this person's just sitting there look like they don't have any clothes and i would go get them and i wouldn't like the scene like it was just maybe the a can go look for it. i don't it was at the change of shift so it was a horrible timing too on top of that so it's just like what can you do and i didn't want to have to like throw it on the cna to go look for somebody's clothes but because i'm like i could just run down there but honestly like brandy you cannot run down there girl you it took you an hour and a half after you got off to finish charting so no you didn't have time but it's like maybe you could have had time to run down there but it's just like i knew i still had to get my work done and that's still part of your work but it's just like okay so you got to prioritize but it's just like dang now this patient got to go another day and explain this whole thing to another person and feel like nobody was listening to them and feel like this and the third like feel like they never like no da, da, da. but then it was a patient today that kind of had a breakdown and they just needed somebody to talk to and that person told me like everything like i could tell they just was telling me everything and i just stood there and i listened to them like i didn't try to chime in and agree and be like oh yeah i, I just listened to everything they had to say and they were like in my legs and da, 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 da. i was like well i'll put something i'll put some cream on your legs i was doing all that i just listened to everything they had to say and the patient was like i just you're the first person i told everything i told my whole story to i was like oh, okay i may have not been the first person who knows i don't know the patient was like uh well if you get a chance to come back you can always come back at any time thank you so much for listening to me da, 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 da. and it's really nothing i could do for them like i couldn't do anything like to make them feel better you know i just put some cream on their legs and told them like you're doing really good you know you're da da da, da. gave them some words of encouragement and that was that you know so it's like you have those wins when you're there for somebody because sometimes people just need somebody to vent to especially like now it's just so hard man it's just so hard right now for these patients um and it's like okay i have that win but it's like i can't do that for everybody you know because at the end of the day it's i still have tangible work that is gonna create a trail to me if i don't do it you know but it's like nobody's gonna say oh that that nurse wasn't in the room with the patient for 15 minutes listening to this patient tell their whole life story she's such a great nurse you know we're not gonna sue her like no nobody gonna do that now granted if something happened maybe the patient would be like well you know everybody was so nice to me so really you know something like that but that doesn't really equate to anything as far as covering my license which is so crazy like you're being stuck between trying to cover your license and making sure that the things that you did do you chart on the fact because i want to get credit for it i work my butt that's how i see it now like i work my butt off i'm gonna chart on every last patient everything i did because i worked my butt off today so let me say this i work my butt on okay B booty gains okay <laughs> let's not say butt off anymore we got butt, butt on okay so i worked you know so i want to make sure that i get my uh kudos for that so let me go ahead and chart on it 
So, but it's just like, you know, people still need you to connect with them and talk to them and do stuff for them. That's not on the tar or the mar for you to click off and say you did. Like, people need you to just be there for them and take care of the things that they cannot do. Like, look for their clothes. Like, having somebody to talk to while they're crying. Like, literally, the person was crying. Like, just having somebody like another human being to connect with versus just a, a nurse coming in there, fulfilling a task, asking a few questions and leaving. I get it. That's what we had to do. Of course, you know, like, duh. But sometimes you just feel like bad because you're like, damn, like, okay, it's more I could do. And if as an agency nurse, it kind of sucks because if I was a regular nurse, I could be like, okay, I'm gonna make sure I look for that clothes when I come in first thing tomorrow. You know, like you can do stuff like that. Like that's one of the things, I'm gonna probably do a video of things that I miss the most about being a regular staff nurse because that's one of the things is just being able to follow up on stuff and really make sure things are getting done for your patients. With agency nurses, it's kind of like you push it off to the next person and hopefully if they get time, they can do it. If not, what can you do? And you feel bad pushing it off because it's like, here you go this agency nurse just pushing off this work to us. But honestly, like I couldn't get to it. So evidently somebody else couldn't get off get get to it because somebody pushed this off onto me too. So I can only do the best I can. And you know, you just want to do what you can for people. Not just for your patients, but for people. You just want to be there for people. It's not even always about I want to be your best nurse. Like I just want to help this person out, you know yeah it sucks but i'm gonna hold on to the things i was able to do and i'm gonna i'm i'm gonna pat myself on the back for doing it and all i can do is the next time i go to work just just try to do something a little bit you know do do just keep doing it just like really stepping up and really showing up um and yeah but yeah i'm tired i am tired I didn't get no time to study. I thought I was going to have time to study, look at my study materials. I made flashcards. I stayed up last night. What the heck is that? I stayed up. I almost ran into something. Yeah, not ran. Like, it was something, like, literally in the middle of the freaking highway. But, uh, got the reflexes. Okay. But, yeah, I uh, stayed up last night. I did no cars and stuff. I didn't stay up too late. But I'm not going to do no studying tonight. I'm going to go home, take a shower. Ooh, I'm going to watch WandaVision. Ooh, we going to watch WandaVision. And I'm going to sleep. I love you all. Thank you so much for all your support, y'all. Y'all are truly, I truly appreciate you all from the bottom, the top. I love you from, the, what do you say? It's, it's another YouTube I listen to. He said, I love you. What did he be saying? I love you down or something like that. I love you down, honey. Uh, yeah, I love all of y'all. I, I really appreciate my audience. I really appreciate every last one of y'all. Whatever you're doing, wherever you're at, whoever you're taking care of, you are appreciated. Thank you so much for what you do. I don't care if you're a nurse, an aide, a housekeeper, the med tech. I don't care if you're just a student going into a patient room. Whatever you're doing, whoever you are, I appreciate you. You are appreciated. People really need people to take care of them in life. We we were given the ability to take care of people for a reason we are blessed to be able to take care of other human beings we are truly blessed that we can do that for people so always and something i kept doing today i kept stopping and drinking stopping because i really didn't have time to eat but i said i'm about to take my break i yes i will i made sure i took my break because they will take it out of my check I will not go another day without taking a freaking break. I am going to take my break, my lunch. I'm gonna, Well, I didn't really take a break, but I took a little break. But I stopped. I kept drinking all my fluids. Like, I'm like, I got to take care of me, you know, so I can be stronger for my patients and for my family. So, take like, be on top of that. Stop and drink some water. Stop and drink some water, okay? Whoever needs to hear that, clear, clear water. And that just fell all down my neck, okay? But yes, we are we it's truly a blessing to be in a position to take care of another human being. I yeah, I don't take that lightly at all. That is it's such a blessing. I can't say it more. I can't say it more. It really is. Like just think about it. Like you're taking care of you and your kids, your family, whatever. Then you can go somewhere else and you have the strength, the physical strength, the emotional strength, you have the intellect, you have what it takes to take care of a whole 
group of individuals simultaneously that is a blessing you all that is truly a blessing that is truly a gift that is truly a calling so if you are in this profession as a healthcare provider in any type of capacity you are blessed okay you have to realize that this is not something that anybody off the street can do and this is something that really helps other human beings to get through life we are blessed we are blessed you have to realize that you have to tell yourself that no matter how it looks i know it's like i'm choked up but honestly y'all like something i need to clear some secretions <laughs> like it's like right there i need to i don't know maybe drink some tea or something but when you really think about it y'all like it's a blessing i don't have nothing else to say about it but it's it's truly a it's truly a gift to do what we do um so i i don't take it lightly and i'm learning like okay i have to remember like why i did this and i i have to be true to that and yes i come on here i joke i key key but honestly like like i'm just i feel like my i feel like going from lp and ari i'm going to that next step in my life and i'm just going to continue to level up completely not to say that as an lp i'm a trash lp i would never say that but you know like once you start doing it for a while you be like oh okay uh, this whole thing and it's just like it's more than that it's more than complaining it's more than not wanting to do it. it's more than oh this is so much work i'm so overworked it's more than that y'all like we are really you know um responsible for these people and there that you know there's with that with that we we have to really take it seriously and as actually doing it but also realizing just how anointed as people say as them church folks say how anointed we are that we're able to do this so that's all i want to leave y'all with I want to leave y'all with some good information, some good energy. I'm about to go on a quick trip, buy a little snack, so I can watch a WandaVision with the hubby. I miss my husband. I miss my kids. I know my kids already sleep now. They might not be. I don't know. I'm gonna see them in the morning. They gonna be okay. Okay. <laughs> they gonna be okay not seeing mama for a second. But yeah, let me know what y'all think about what I've been talking about on this channel. I mean, on this in this video, my head. But I'm good. I'm drinking my fluids. I'm staying hydrated. I love y'all. Bye.